in the blue corner from Icebox in Guyton, Georgia. Let's hear it for Joey Zettler. Zettler. Fight number seven here will be a no gi jiu jitsu bout at 150 pounds. Entering the cage out of the blue corner, Joey Zettler representing Icebox out of Guyton, Georgia. Joey's opponent in the red corner from Foundry in Beaufort. Let's hear it for Samuel Bermudez. Bermudez. Again, representing Foundry fighting and fitness out of Beaufort, hometown boy here, Samuel Bermudez. Like I said, he'll be representing Foundry in this Nogi jiu-jitsu bout at 150 pounds. It'll be a one-round affair at eight minutes. Definitely going to be an entertaining one uh, with these fighters being at 150. You know, they, they have a lot more, or excuse me, they have a lot less muscle mass they have to <laughs> deal with. So it be a lot of energetic action. Pulled a rewind on his entry there <laughs> as Sam makes his way to I the think, cage. <laughs> I think there's some sort of, I think there's some sort of uh, miscommunication between them and the official checking him off. Maybe not have a mouth guard or something. Here, well, here we go. Blue corner, Joey Zettler. Red corner, Samuel Bermudez. Your referee, Tom Katerinis, will take them the single eight-minute round. Alrighty, another exciting no-gi jiu-jitsu match here. As I mentioned before, I really enjoy these no-gi matches. We'll see what Samuel and Joey have for us. Yeah. I haven't had a lot of experience with Joey Zettler, but I have been able to train with Samuel, and he is, he is an absolute cardio machine, just always foot on the gas pedal. So it'll be very intriguing to see where it turns out to be. We see Samuel here wind up in the guard of Joey. Yeah, it looked like he was, it looked like as uh, Joey was going for that, uh, that takedown attempt, he was eyeing to get some sort of guillotine and just control yeah. that head of some sort. Didn't really pan out how he wanted, but he now has top control this time. Oh, a fighter right in front of us as he gets, uh, looks like he's in half guard, full mount now yeah, for Samuel. To able to cleanly go straight from half guard and from guard into a full mount. But Joey's doing a very, very uh, persistent job at trying to retake his guard. And it's successful to get into half guard at this time. Looks like he wants to pass here. Back to a mount. Again in the white shirt on top representing Foundry and Buford as Samuel Bermudez. And on the bottom, Joey Zettler out of Icebox. He pulls an armbar attempt here. Can't see what's happening with the action. He's got it cleared past Oh, there we past go. the hips, and that's really what you want with these arm bars, but he's not able to put a lot of leverage on it and try and secure the, the submission. There we go. And got it. If he can lock it. it in. And, oh, he, Joey's he really 
good defense here with us. There we go. So Samuel Bermudez out of Buford representing Foundry with the finish. What an outstanding attempt. A good defense as well. He just was not able to was not able to pull the arm out. Now at the end of the day, with an arm bar, that's really what you want to do. <laughs> Your referee, Tom Katarinas, stops the fight. Two minutes and 26 seconds in. For your winner, in the red corner, Samuel Bermudez. Bermudez. There we go, Samuel Bermudez, victorious with an armbar. Less than three minutes into his Noki jiu-jitsu bout there with Joey Zettler. Impressive finish. Joey had some good defense there, but at the end of the day, Jamie, Samuel Jamie. was able to get the finish. Yeah, very, very, Jamie. very solid Jamie. work by Samuel. He just, he showed a lot of heart in that, a lot of, a lot of, uh, Jamie. Jamie. a lot of grit to be able to just try and fight it out. Very. Samuel. It's okay. I know, I know your English isn't great, but your jiu-jitsu is very good. How long have you been doing this? Since November. Since November. Yes, sir. Since November. What do you attribute how fast you've learned? Why have you learned? How have you learned so fast? I think because my background is from karate. I'm black belt in karate. Maybe that's why. So you have balance, you have agility, you've learned all that in karate. What is the most important thing to become so good in jiu-jitsu so quickly? The, you like it, because if you don't like it, you don't wanna learn that fast because you don't, you don't have the, the taste for it. What is it that you like so much about it? What is it that keeps you coming back for all the hard training? Challenge myself, very, uh, I'm very lucky that, and in this gym, the everyone are great fighters, so I have a challenge every day. So when you train with great fighters, you get better and better. Yes, yeah. Congratulations, Samuel. He left him hanging there, but again, impressive that he's only been training since November. Here it is, 